time in Macau, a peninsula of the Guangdong province of China and just a stone's throw away from Hong Kong. Here you can find great Cantonese, Portuguese and Macanese, the fusion of the two. It's become famous as a real foodie hotspot in Asia, with travellers flocking to try its unique mix of food. It's made up of the peninsula itself, as well as two islands, Taipa and Kola Wan, which have been joined with a strip of reclaimed land called Kotai. And it's rocking a vibrant food scene, ranging from hole-in-the-wall eateries all the way up to Michelin-starred flavours. There's nowhere else like Macau in all of Asia. A Portuguese enclave till 1999. It's got a real East meets West vibe and some of the best Portuguese food outside of Portugal. Antonio's is a Macau institution serving up the freshest Portuguese food to locals and visitors alike. One, two, Named after its founder, Antonio Coelho, who moved to Macau in the 90s and set up the restaurant shortly after. Antonio heads up the kitchen, where he prides himself on cooking the authentic Portuguese flavours he grew up with. And it must be working because he's earned the restaurant a Michelin star for five consecutive years. So thank you, Chef. You're going to teach me how to make seafood? Cataplana. Kind of Cataplana. Right. Cataplana okay. is this. It's a copper pot that uh -huh. we use in southern Portugal. We got to use first Portuguese olive oil. Portuguese olive oil. Olive oil. We so go what to you cut to the green bell peppers, okay? okay. But during the, the time that you are cutting this, also put the onions, Onion. okay? Okay. A lot of so tomato. Do you like some tomato, okay? Yeah. We can add already what some garlic. What would you garlic. like? Okay. okay. So garlic? Oh, lovely. But now you go to put the tomato. Tomatoes, all yeah. of it? Like this, all of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Put Chef, the green bell peppers. Them. Okay. Lovely. So you're just cooking until it's getting soft, a little bit you soft. You need to have the smell, okay? Mm -hmm. You need to control things by smell, okay? okay? Red bell pepper. Ah. Wonderful. Ah. Uh, Portuguese wine. Okay. Mm -hmm. We don't put a little now, okay? Ooh. So, only white bread. Okay. okay. Baby squid? Mm. Baby squid. Okay. So it's just slowly adding the ingredients, yes, the... not like two minutes in a walk. No, no, this no, is a cannot, slow walk. Cannot, cannot. <laughs> Clam meat. Just a handful. So what's next? This is uh, red bell pepper paste. Portuguese paprika. Okay. We call it in Portugal Kulural. Give a special quite, taste. Quite not, too much. not too much. More white wine. Okay. Oh, love oh. it. Mmm. Okay. We're going okay. to put a little bit of tomato sauce. Not too much, little bit. You need to put here a little bit of water. Next. What do you need? The mussels. The mussels? Okay. The, the broth looks so rich already. Ever yeah. now, put only a dash of the chili sauce. Mm. Only a little. Little, okay. To give taste, okay? Okay. We have to put a little bit of seafood sauce. Okay. Okay. Wow. A live clam. Live clams, beautiful. So it just all goes in? Browns, already oh. without shell, you okay. know. Crab. Crab. You can't fit any more seafood into that part, that's for sure. A little bit coriander on, around for give a special taste of sauce. Okay, so cooked potatoes. Yeah, cooked okay. potato. Next, it's to cover the, the cataplana. Okay, you're just going to let that cook yes. for a little bit longer. A little bit longer. For all the flavour just intensifies. Yes. There is so much flavour in this dish, it's unbelievable. It is salty, but not too salty. It's a little sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's a little spicy. It's spot on, straight from the heart. You can taste it. It's out of this world. It's amazing. And it's not just the cataplana that's attracting the diners. Antonio is well known for looking after his customers and even serenades them as they chow down on fresh clams, flambe sausage, and the Portuguese classic grilled sardines. Okay, chef, so what are we cooking next? The sardines. Okay. We put a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of wine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'll give me a little bit of taste, okay? I got a rock salt here, yeah. okay? Rock like salt. this. Beautiful. Okay. So quite generous amount of broccoli. Yeah, quite generous portion of salt. Now, you have here the grill. Really hot grill. Very, yeah, very hot. Very hot. All right, one. One. Two. Two. And three. 
because our mm. portions are three sardines. So what do you serve it with, chef? Cornbread. Cornbread. And you make this cornbread yourself? Yes. Let's go Beautiful. to grill the little bit of cornbread. We need something in this side, if okay. it's enough. Oh, look at that. Oh. Beautiful. Wow. Such quick cooking as well. Why Let's do you see. think the Portuguese love sardines so much? All half Portugal mm -hmm. have Atlantic mm -hmm. Ocean. We love all kinds of fish, you know. Or oh, sardines are already okay. okay huh? Look at that. This one oh, here. Beautiful colour. So you always serve three? Yes, three. Okay. We only serve all the time we serve three sardines. Now, we serve right. this with a boiled potato and green bell pepper salad. Okay. okay, how simple is that? And it looks so delicious. I'm going to go for the belly. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's beautiful. Melt in the mouth tender, really moist. Salty, simple, delicious, cooked by genius. Muito obrigado. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. My pleasure. Obrigado.